Oh, should go to screen theater. So yeah, use effect. Use effect is interesting. Uh, subject of how I react hooks ki ko commit hai. So react hooks. React. Uh, it used to be it used to be just classes. Now it's a it's a state. It's a function y. So React was always was always a class. Uh, just like if you go down here, you will see where is it? Uh, docs. Where is, where, is, where, is, where is it? Yeah, it used to be like this. So if you want to create a component, this is how you create. You declare a class, and then uh, you go all the way down here. So this one, yeah, this is the JSX. So the JSX, you put it inside the render, and then you return inside the render. Uh, and then instead of function, you declare class, and then you say react uh, that component. So you extending that. Mesha and Estermala know we using use state uh, in class. You use this. You use constructor. You don't have to use the constructor sometimes, but uh, it's, it's, it's good to have that. And then this is your state. So this is this is equal to uh, use effect. And remember, use effect we're using uh, the state name, which is uh, this one is like seconds while. Uh, and then set state is uh, this one has already a set state built in, so you don't have to declare it again. Uh, so the other one, the uh, the function one, you say seconds, and then you say set seconds. This one it has already set state uh, built in, which is uh, somewhere here. Yeah. So this is set state right here. And when you're in class, you use everything you say this. So if you're declaring a function, if you want to render something, you say this, that state, that seconds. But we're, we're using most of the functions, so we don't need all this. Uh, I don't know if you could edit this. Yeah, I think you could edit it. So I can convert this into a class, uh, not a class. I can convert it into a function. So the easy way is by... Um, I'm not sure if I need to import React. So let's import React here. React from React. Let's add our use, uh, use state here. Use state. And also we need to use effect too, since we're using a component did mount. So this component did mount is use state. Uh, use, I mean, use effect. So this is use effect. So these are two comparable. Uh, so class, we're going to change this to function timer. We're going to get rid of all this. And then we're just going to say that. We don't need the constructor. So we're just going to create a const. Uh, we're going to create our state. So we're going to put it here seconds. And then we say set seconds equal to uh, set state. Use state or set state? Set state. Uh, oh, sorry. Use state. Sorry. <laughs> you call it use state. Uh, so we initialize with zero because second is initialized with zero. So zero initialized. Um, so we can get rid of all this constructor. We don't need that. That's why functions are a little bit cleaner than uh, class. So this tick, this is a function. So we have to kind of declare it as a function. We have to either say function, let's say function like that. Um, so it gives us this, instead of set state, we say set seconds. Yeah, set seconds, because that's uh, that's what changes our state. Alif Salam, how are you doing? Alhamdulillah. Uh, uh, so here it says state. This was our uh, so it says state here. Uh, so seconds. So we say this. This is not a state. This is uh, we say the seconds, and it's a function that kind of increments the second. Uh, so we say seconds, and then we say seconds. And here would be, uh, no, we just, we don't need a state here. Uh, so seconds, set seconds, okay. I don't think we need all this, uh, this callback function. 
uh, all we need is just we need to increment it. So, uh, so we need to just uh, just do like that. We don't need all that. Uh, so, so how many curly brackets? We don't need this. So that curly bracket goes to that one. Uh, component bin mount. This is a use effect. A use effect needs a callback function. So all this will go into a callback function. Uh, we're just converting this uh, from a class to a, it might be a fail, but we're gonna try. Um, so this would be an empty callback function here. Uh, we're gonna do that. So this is what we're gonna use. Uh, so instead of all this, and we just say not this, but just interval, set interval. We don't need this. We just say tick and all that. So I think we just put all this in here. Okay, just put this here. So set interval is a, it's a function that uh, is in JavaScript. Um, it creates an interval basically. So oh, here we have to say const set interval, okay. Uh, what else are we getting? Okay, so we don't need this. And we don't need the render. Uh, let's get rid of uh, one of these. Uh, return. So it's all in recent return. Okay, so this is the. Uh, I'm getting confused with the, all the curly brackets. But this is our return, and that returns this. Oh, we don't need this. This would be just seconds. Uh, so this should work, but it's not working. Let's take all this to, uh, to a better place. Let's take it to um, Code Sandbox. So we're just going to copy. We're going to go to Code Sandbox. I'm just showing you how to convert a class how to convert a class from, from class to a function. So, so all of that was in, so we have to separate it. This part is already created for us, so we don't need it. And we have to create a component for this. Uh, we're just gonna call it timer.js. Uh, so that's why it's shown us here. See, it's giving us more hint. Um, okay, it's function, this function, return. What's wrong with the return? <coughs> uh, expected. Oh, we have to we have to return. Oh, we have to export default. Timer. Uh, still giving us issue. Let's just uh, let's just undo all this. Uh, this is the function. This is the function. This is a function. Uh, oh yeah, we're missing this. <laughs> so let's actually go back. We're missing that. And I think we're also missing that. Okay. Uh, hopefully, no. That's that. Okay. That's fine. It's missing dependency. Oh, okay. So we're going to say tick. That's going to be just tick. No, it's, it's okay. So we're just gonna keep it like that. Uh, we have to put it in here in app.js. So let's do that. Doesn't matter where we put it. Timer and import it. On timer. Timer, timer, that's it. 
Okay. So is it working? I'm not sure. It shows a second, one second. Uh, it's at least shown. This is the, where the problem is coming from. It is signed, but never used. So we never use this interval. Let's refresh this so we can see the actual thing. Uh, oh, we don't need all that. So we could just get rid of this. Uh, still not working, but that's fine. So the main thing is just we converted this into a function. Uh, some of the minute things like this is not working out. But, but yeah, stop it out one second. Uh, let's put it here. Tick. Function. No, that's not going to work. You can't put a function there. Okay. Uh, sickness. Yeah. But let's go back to the lesson uh, for, that we're going to go through. So this was uh, this was the side effect, the use effect. Um, the use effect mainly is used to keep track of things that are changing that you don't know if it's going to work out or not. Mostly it's for API calls. So uh, that's why we used for API calls last time. So let's go to the assignment here. The NASA, uh, we can do this together if you guys want. Um, so let's do this one together. And then we're gonna do part, part of the router one. And then you guys uh, can finish it, inshallah. So let's copy it. I think I did it before, so, but we're gonna just redo it again. Uh, we're gonna clone it here to example. I put it over there already. The problem with the Mac is, I don't know if I can do this. Like I, I'm used to Windows. So I used to just click and say, open with uh, uh, Git bash. But I can't do this in a Mac. So that's, that's interesting. I have to open the terminal. CD, CD back, uh, CD to examples. Maybe if the people who have Mac, like Abdelsheet, can uh, can give me a hint that'd be great <laughs> okay clone cd2 i think it's called astronomy okay let's code code dot it and then open it okay uh so now we're just going to do the the usual stuff which is mbm install And then the uh, NPM start. And I don't know if it's going to show anything. Okay. NPM start. All right. Go open to somewhere else. It's right here. Yeah. It's giving us a message. Read through the instructions. Read me a file to build your NASA app. Have a fun. So the read me. Okay. So, uh, okay, okay, instructions, MVP, planning. If you want, this would be time to make a simple design spec. Look for that, um, okay, example. And I think we did a something similar to this. Uh, and I think I shared that too. Let me see. Uh, yeah, I think you did the cat. Yeah, yeah, I did the cat, so. That's also, that also helps. Uh, so you could see the cat and it's very similar to uh, the NASA. So maybe, maybe we should do the, the router to save time. Um, yeah, but uh, I think the API, I'm not getting it, the data. I don't know, try that. You're not getting the data? Okay. Let's, uh, yeah. let's, let's get started with it. And then I'm, I'm not gonna do any styling. You guys do the styling. Um, this is freaking out. You guys do the styling and, and I'll just do bare minimum. Like I'll just show the image uh, and the data. So I'm not gonna do any planning. I'm just gonna go for like uh, basic stuff, but you guys are gonna do the planning. You're gonna do the styling, make it look nicer. 
and show the text in a nice way, all that good stuff. So let's go to app.js. There's nothing here, there's nothing here. So let's go back to the readme. Uh, so the readme, we do the planning, all that stuff, the styling, we're not doing that. Uh, so we have to go to the here, to this API. Uh, we need to read, so I have to just kind of open it into a new. Um, you can open a new account here. Uh, I don't know if I did it last time. So let's just do it. Run school. Don't want to give my full name. Um, so when you, when you create, it gives you a key, right? Yeah, it gives you a key here, yeah. So here we're going to okay. say, let's do baby school 2021. Uh, maybe let's just give it a wrong email. Uh, URL, all this is optional. Okay. So this is the, this is what you need. And then you go back. So here is the, is the link to the data. See, it already gives you the link and also gives you with the, with the key too. And this is the data that you're looking for. This is what we're looking for. So now we have the we have the API link, which is this. If you just used only all the way to the uh, app app, it's not gonna work. Uh, you have to add the API key, da, 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 all that stuff, all this stuff, all that with the question mark. So now all we need now is to render that information. So let's uh, let's just get started with our usual stuff. Let's bring use state, use uh, effect. Uh, let's set up a state here. Uh, so let's say something like, um, I'll just say NASA. And here set NASA equal to use state. I'll give an empty uh, array. If you don't know any, anything about the data, you could just give it an empty array like that. Uh, so let's use the use effect here and let's set it up. So use effect usually has a callback function inside it. Okay. And also you have to, don't forget the dependency. Otherwise it's just going to loop forever. So right here, we're going to use our Axios. So let's actually import Axios. Let's let us install in Axios. So we say npm install Axios. So that's gonna go ahead and grab the Axios for us. Let's import it from Axios. And here we're just gonna say, we're gonna use Axios. So we're gonna say axios.get, and then we're just gonna put the URL here, not that. You need the whole URL, the whole thing. If it's really long, you could do a couple of things. You could make it short by using URL shorteners. So you could just go to URL shortener. Like uh, this one is, uh, where is it? That'll be the base. Or you could just create a base. There's a different ways to, to make it uh, short. Uh, what is the main one that people use? This one, Billy. So you can just put it right here and it's just gonna give you a shorter link. You just copy that. So that's not gonna create any problem. So that's gonna be fine. Uh, so that has the same data as, as the one before. You can do that. Uh, so let's do the dot then. Uh, this has a callback function and we need to put here response. And here is where we cancel lock the response. So we know what we're getting back. Don't forget the, don't forget the catch. And all this, we did this several times. So you, we really don't have to type. It's, it's good to type. I would say type it. Like if you wanna learn this the right way is type it every time, uh, type it out. Even if you're looking at, at it somewhere else, that's the best way to learn. Otherwise, if you're not, uh, if you don't wanna deal with the typing, you could just copy and paste from the other project we did. 
uh, and this is a callback function. So we're going to say error and then console up there. All right, so now we have that. So let's double check, we get into data. Uh, where is it? Did we even run it? That's the question. We did, we did, it's somewhere, somewhere here is another window. Uh, no, so yeah, let's put it inside here. So now let's open inspect console. There's nothing here. Uh, why is that? Use effect. Okay, save. Is this the same thing? Uh, let's change something here so we know exactly what we're dealing with. It's not even turned in. So this is not it. Let's just start again. Uh, we have a couple of uh, terminals open for us. Uh, this is not our terminal. Let's see. I'm not sure what that is. NPM start. All right. Okay. So this is working. All right. We get an error. So there's something wrong. I think maybe it's the shortener. Uh, yeah, I think the shortener is not working out for us. So let's act actually get the whole link. Thought that was gonna supposed to work. So the whole link, it's fine. It's gonna take a two lines or something like that. Access.get, okay. Let's put that there. Let me make it toggle. Go back here. Yeah. So that that shorter thing is not working for us. So this is the data you're looking for right here. Uh, you see the date. You see explanation. You see the HD URL. Uh, this is the image. Sometimes it's a video. You know it by here. It says media type. It says video, and the link is going to be a video. So uh, a YouTube video. So you kind of have to figure out uh, how to display that sometimes title and the URL. I don't know why do we have H oh, HD and this one is not HD, I guess. Okay. So let's render that data. Let's put that data in the state. So to do that, we need to, we need a dot uh, response dot data. So let's say set NASA. And uh, let's do, let's say response dot data. So that's going to add, that's going to put all the data in the state. And to do to make sure we can console up the state. NASA. Right here. This is all the data. Hopefully that makes sense so far. Uh, we did this several times, so hopefully you understand how that works. So we have the data in the state. Uh, let's see if we're doing anything wrong. Uh, okay, this looks good. If we say something like that, uh, that date, let's say here. As you can see, it shows the date. So we don't even need to look through it. That's, that's a good part. Um, so we could pass all that data to another component if we want to, or we could just show it right here in this app but in, in React, the good way to do things is to pass to another component. So everything should have their own component. So let's create another component and let's say something like nasa.js. And uh, let's just create the usual component. I have extension that creates a component for me automatically. So I will say something like RCF and that's gonna create a, a functional component for me, just like that. So if you guys wanna get those kind of extensions, you could go to here and then put something like react snippet, a snippet or something like that. So this one, this extension helps you kind of create a things real quick. So I didn't even type the whole thing and it gave me the export default and all that stuff. So it's all good. Now, 
in here we're gonna pass a prop props uh we're gonna uh just render all the data here so let's just create a basic thing here uh, so i need the title at the top so i'll just say h1 h1 title and i'll create i need the image here so i'll create an image uh source is equal to now for nothing uh, and then alt i'll say something like i can give the title and the alt if i want to so i could just say like that and then give a props that uh, title i think uh if i want to and here it's going to be it's going to be uh, props so here's the thing you could do this you could do destruction so we could do destruction here and say something like const and then do that and then grab the title grab the um the other things let me just see what we have where is our console log save that we have we have title date description all that stuff so we could do that let me just type it out so title date uh explanation explanation uh, we need the url and we need the I think that's that's all we need for now and i just say equal to props Right. equal to props. Um, so title is going to be just a title. Make sure it's a lowercase. Uh, image source is going to be it's going to be that, and then we can have here URL. And here we're going to have we don't need the props, so we're just going to say title. Uh, this is the image, so we're going to close the image uh we need the explanation and the date so let me just put the date in a, pa a paragraph so let's just say date and explanation in a paragraph okay explanation right there so that's it and we just have to import that uh to here so we don't need none of this so we just say uh, NASA. That's going to automatically import for us and close it. So save that. That should render in theory. It's not rendering anything. Uh, why is that? Why is it not rendering something? Oh. Why is it not rendering something? I know the reason, but you guys tell me. We have the NASA uh, component here. We're showing the all this stuff. We have the prop, and it's shown export. here. Export. It says export here, so you could do export like this too. So, but we could also put it right here. Export default, NASA. Do we have to import the NASA to the? We did, we imported here. We imported that and we showed here. Everything looks good, but it's still nothing is showing. No error, nothing. What do you guys think? Should we do console log here so you guys can see what's going on? Let's do console log of props. Let's give this a name from NASA safe and as you can see from NASA it's empty why is that there's nothing we not we don't have anything in the prop what do you guys think <clears throat> so this was like uh, the far the second lesson we took and it was about the props so go back to that. How do we how do we pass props to uh, another component? All right. So
So let's go back to the second lesson we took, which was about the props and passing. Remember that if you create a component, you have to pass a prop. Uh, if, you want, if you want to get the data, you have to pass a props. So let's see another component here. I'm not sure if this is any of this is working. Uh, yeah, why is nothing else shown a props? Okay. So what is props? So props go up and out. I don't already know what it is, but where we have a component here called the user info and we're passing this data to it, right? It's a component. So this is how we pass the props, right? So you pass this props right here. This is the state, right? So uh, this component doesn't know anything about the, this information. So the only way it knows is through the props. And this is really, really important. You, you cannot do anything in, especially uh, at this stage in React, if you are not uh, understanding what the props do, right? So what do we pass to this to this component? We're gonna pass on uh, NASA. NASA, okay. Is that the uh, is that the component? What is it? What is it? So what we're is, gonna pass the state. We're gonna pass the state. Okay. So so here we could name it whatever we want. Um, then put parentheses. Yeah. There. So we're going to say something like data is equal to NASA, right? Yeah. So now we're taking this data in the state and sending it to this component. Otherwise, it's not going to show. It will not show. Now it's going to give us an error. I mean, if we refresh it, it's not going to give us an error. It's showing the data here, but it's not rendering anything. And why is that? What do you guys think? Uh, maybe we can render it in a different component or different, the same one. Different component, okay. Because we, we have the data, we're, we're console logging this, but it's right here. So it shows here data and it's all the data is here, but it's missing one thing before it yeah. renders everything. Mm -hmm. keep, keep in mind that we actually named this a data. Right. So how do we, uh, it, when it comes to props, it looks for that name, right? That's what it's looking for. But now we have only props, right? So we change props to data? So we change the props to props that data, right? So now it should show everything perfectly. So we have the image, we have the title, the image is too long, that's fine. We have the date here and we have the explanation, right? Uh, another thing you could do is you could change the date so that it renders a different image if you want. So that's another thing you could do. Um, and I, I think I explained that in, the, in here. So I said sometimes it shows the video. If you wanted to show an image, you have to add this to the end of the, to your yeah, your API. So right here, you add that. Um, this is like 2012. So that should show another image, different image. Uh, so this is the sun erupting. Uh, so is that is that every other day image or? So this is this is daily image. So it's the date that you chose. The NASA they show a image every day. So, so whatever date, whatever date you you chose, if you choose fifteenth, it's gonna show another image. It's gonna show something else, whatever it is. So every day since like I think uh, two thousand two or something, it's been shown an image. So here, if we say twenty, it's gonna show something else and different explanation. And I think this one is a video. That's why it's not showing that. If we go back to uh, our thing here. Yep, so as you can see, it's a video. So it's not shown. 
the video is this. So if we actually just check it out, go here, it's a YouTube video showing that. Uh, so you have to find a way to render a video. Um, you could use if a statement to render it. And this is, uh, this is what you use. You say, if media type is video, then render it like this. If, if, if it's an image, render it like this. Uh, that's also one way to do it. Um, yeah. You could also give, give a person uh, a, a way to change the date by, uh, by making this dynamic using, uh, 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 using template literal and then making this in, in a variable and let the person change it around and all that stuff. So that's also a little bit more advanced stuff. Choose a date and then it renders that date, the image of that date. Um, so, so yeah, any questions so far? Uh, Malin, can you repeat where, uh, right there, where, where you're talking about the rendering? I had a problem with that. Uh, like, where do you say pop start data? Yeah. So this one is called destruction in Alabaha. So destruction, you can look it up. Destruction is part of, uh, it's part of uh, JavaScript. Okay. I have to like type it to know. Destructuring. Okay. So, this is basically saying, instead of this, we could just get rid of this. Uh, kind of a comment it out, I mean. Comment it out. And instead of uh, us having this, you could just say props.data.title. And then this one is going to be props.data.url. Props.data.title. Props.data.date. Props.data.explanation, right? Instead of doing all that, uh, you just... Uh, remove that and make, put it here and then you kind of grab only the names in the prop so that's a destruction i don't think that's what you asked me but uh this props came from here and the reason why this is showing and you can name props whatever you want it doesn't have to be props you could just name uh info and we just have to name here info uh and just remove this props is just it's just a, a, a word that people know to use. So other developers know that this is a prop instead of something else. But the main thing is you're passing it here. So this is the parent component, the app.js. And then you're saying, okay, uh, I'm importing this uh, uh, component from here. So this, this is where you import uh, importing it. And then you're saying, okay, this component is expecting information. It's expecting a data or a, a data from the state. So now a way to send that data is using props. You can name this whatever you want. This could be info, it doesn't matter what it is. The only thing is if you change this, you have to change this date data thing. You have to say info here too. And that shows here, right? And we kind of have to change the, the, the date here. So let's just remove it, okay. So that's the only thing, that's the only reason why we, um, that's the main reason why we have uh, props is to pass the data. And we definitely gonna move on from props. There's something more ad advanced and more flexible than props. So we're gonna move that to another time. Uh, when you guys finish this uh, this week, uh, I think it's in the next week, I'm not sure, let's see. Uh, not really. It's in here, state management. So you guys are gonna go to context API and also Redux. Those are two state management systems. Uh, basically you will get to it, but it's just a advanced way of managing your data or your state uh, instead of using props only. Um, so, so do you use that uh, structure in like um, every scenario or like, it's okay, you know? If you don't have a lot of information, let's say if you don't have a lot of links, you have maybe one or two, not links, I mean two, uh, the information you're trying to render, if you don't have a lot of it, then you could just, you don't need to use it. So it only depends on how many things you're gonna write here. Instead of writing props, and actually we have to turn this to props, so you guys are not confused. 
uh, let's call this date data. Uh, instead of the same props that um, that data that title and then props that data that title. If you want to say this, this is fine. But remember that we learned about the uh, dry methodology, so don't repeat yourself. So that's that's what we're doing. We repeat ourselves hundred times. So imagine having like about 20, 30 items that you want to render, and that would be very difficult. So that's why destruction is important sometimes, but you don't have to use it. It's, it still it still works uh, same way. Um, it's only for shorthand. Okay. Another thing you could do is you could destructure right here. So you could actually just put um, title here. Um, um, all that stuff and the URL and still use it. And this is same as the structure we did here, but you don't need to have the pro uh, props that data in here. It already knows that it's props that data. That's also another way. Any questions? Um, I don't know, what is the, uh, is there a difference like when you pass, um, let's say in case if you create another uh, component mm -hmm. uh, and you want to render the information there. So is there a difference if you do this or that way, data way thing? So you want to pass the data from here and then you want to pass it through here and then go to another component and then show it that yeah, way? Yeah. Yeah, so the, diff the only difference is, let's say this one, instead of this, we needed to um, loop through it, it's, it's best to have one component that loops through the data and then pass it to another component that renders the data just like this. Uh, so we could create another component and we could call it something like um, show, show, uh, show, show NASA, or something like that, JS. And this one is only to show the image and the text and all that. Its job is not to like, do any work when it comes to uh, uh, rendering the, the data. So the data is already uh, kind of filtered for, for it, and then it just shows. And here we're gonna pass the data here. So now we don't have, we don't have to loop anything because it's just one thing, uh, one component. Uh, but let's say we wanna pass it. We wanna pass it to this component. We don't need all this. We can just copy this right here, get rid of it and put it right here. So I'm just going to create a basic uh, function component. So, okay, so I'm just going to create that basic uh, uh, component and then put this here and then put the props here, right? Uh, but we have to pass this props from NASA and NASA is getting from the app.js. So we pass in, we pass in data all over the place. So from here to here to here. Um, so now it depends on what we call here. So we have to import that uh, show NASA here. Show NASA. And it automatically imported for me. So now we do this. Save. And here it's shown that. Uh, so here the problem is um, right now it's this is not gonna work because first thing we have to pass props here. So what props do we pass here? How do we pass props here? Remember our props is props that data. How do we pass that here? You're gonna say data and then you could call yeah. it whatever you want. Let's call it something like info just to make it different. Uh, okay, and then yep, and then. Here, what do, what do we put here? Show NASA. Show NASA. You sure that's the, that, that is the component, remember? This is the component. NASA, we're gonna say NASA. We're gonna say NASA? Why are we saying NASA? It's right there, um, the function, right Yeah. So we pass in this function to this function? No, oh, we need to pass data. Yeah, we're passing the data. So the data is in props, right? Because we can, we can actually cancel lock. Uh, 
we can cancel out, we could say props. And uh, let's just remove this for a minute. And and also, yeah. Let's just remove this for a minute too. I'm gonna stop everything. Uh, so right here, the last one, this is the data. So we're trying to pass. And the name of the data is data. Uh, so, so if we need to pass, we have to tell what we pass in. So we say info and we pass in the props, right? Because that's where the data is. So you can pass props or you can pass props that data if you want. You can make it, you could define it more de uh, like deeply. So if you pass this, you're passing all this. But if you pass only props, if you pass only props, then you're passing, uh, you're passing all this basically, this object, this object and also the data. So you have to say something like, um, info dot data and then after that that's how you get your data so it's good to make it a little more refined that way so now if we pass that and we do this props that instead of date uh data what do we say here props dot info props dot info yep so this is going to be props dot info this is going to be info. So that's why destructions is really good because now you have to change several places, right? Like that. Info, and then this one is the info. And then we save it and it shows. It's the same thing. But now this is shown in the show NASA component. And the job of show uh, NASA components is just to show the data, is not to kind of uh, loop through anything, all that stuff. That's the job of here. There's nothing to loop through now, so that's why it's we're just sending that data to it, right? Does that make sense? Any 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 questions? Okay, so we we grab the. Um, API, we pass the data to the state, and we pass the state to NASA, which is a component. And we used props to pass, and that's how you pass it. And then we went to NASA, and then we put props here. Then we pass the same data to another component, which is show NASA. And then we call that info, and then pass the props that data, that, that, that this data is coming from here. This is the name of it right there. Uh, so we pass here, and now that's what's shown here. We say props, and we're showing each item like this. Right. Hopefully that makes sense. So now your job is to make it look nicer and add colors to it and make it make it better. Inshallah. Okay. So that was the NAS one. Uh, what about the router one, React router? What do you guys, are you guys doing that one? Have you looked at it? What do you guys think? That, was, uh, that one is harder, so I didn't even try that one. I was, I was, I was watching the video, uh, the lecture, to grasp more understanding. And... Yeah. So this one, you have to kind of, start things from scratch as you can see there's nothing there's no react for you so you have to create your own react right so you have to start your own react following these instructions so right here i kind of detailed the instructions here you could use this mbx create react team builder or this you could just use this too mbx create react team builder you don't need this uh, use mbm this part so you could do that too. Uh, did I skip the use effect uh, for this one? So the use effect is right here. We use the use effect, and we manage use uh, with the state uh, the call in the API using the use effect. Otherwise, it could be it could create problems for you. Um, so always when you have an API, put it in inside the use effect. 
Um, so, so yeah, this one, you create your own stuff uh, and then you seed it into it. So this is the name of it. And then you say NVM start. Then after that, you go to the minimum viable render list of team members from state. So you kind of have to create that from scratch. So you have to create a, uh, what I would say, a, uh, a, a put a object inside the state. So just like, instead of putting this, you put a, you can put this ins uh, inside, you could put a object if you want. So you could do that. And you could create a several objects if you want. So you could just say, this one object is a member team, team member. Uh, you could give it a couple of things like name, and ID. You could give it like email, things like that. So give it a couple of things, and then create another one just like this one. Copy paste. Put a comma here. Put it here. So let's put email here. Uh, so I don't want to mess this up, but yeah, that's how you create that. When I say render a list of team members. Uh, build a form to add a new member. So that's another task to but first, you know, do this. So this is a, a detailed description of how to do that, how to do the render state. So set up a state, import state, set up a state, give a state variable, declare da, 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 uh, render the list. Build the form. So create a component called form.js uh, and then create the input for name you guys didn't learn uh the how to do the form in the form input thing on how to handle forms i think i don't think we did that in the lecture so maybe maybe i should do that and then you guys do the state rendering and add in the team members uh there so let's see yeah that's it so you create the form and you you give you give it these things so you give it a name, email, and role. Uh, and then, so the role could be these things. So you could, you could do whatever you want. I mean, it doesn't have to be anything. The main thing is just create a form. And then whenever you submit that form, it should add to the state and it should render that, that information. Uh, you have to decide which component is responsible for maintaining state in the form, uh, all that stuff. So you have to create a form, you have to create a state for the form too. So, uh, so yeah. So do you guys wanna do that? Uh, let's say, what do, what do you guys think? Is it something that, do you wanna challenge yourself? Because this is, uh, if I do it for you, it's not, it's not gonna stick. And when, it, when the stretch uh, or the spring project comes, you're gonna struggle. Um, it's going to be a for everything. So if you want to try and do it your own, that's fine. But I want you guys to put the time in and, and, and create it and try your best if you want to do it. Otherwise, we can do the form. And uh, then you guys going to do the rest of the stuff. I, I think the main thing is just the form. It's not. Trending the status is very easy. Um, but actually, let me show you uh, another way we don't have to do this let me show you how to create a form in a in a different way uh let's use something else so we're going to use code sandbox to do that uh, so let's see uh, we can just google it um, and i can show you like my process of how i create that so let's just create a new sandbox let's create a react so this is basic stuff we can set up a form so let's just create a component call it form.js, uh, let's just copy this. I'm lazy, so I don't like creating things from scratch all the time. I would say create things from scratch, but for me, I'm, I'm lazy about that. Import React from that. And we don't need this. And we call this form, okay. And here we're just gonna render, just gonna render form here. So I'll just say something like H2 form here. Uh, show form here. Okay, uh, H2. Save that, but we have to render, we have to push, we have to put this in here. 
So we don't even need all this. It's gonna import for us automatically. So show form. So now we're just gonna do the, the normal HTML stuff. Don't complicate it. The usual HTML stuff. So here we're gonna say form. We're gonna close it. So you guys know how to do the form in HTML. So this is basic HTML stuff. So here we need a couple of things. We need uh, and uh, we need to name the inputs. So I'll just create a label, label, and I'll call it name. Okay. Here we can create an input a type, call it text, and. We can do placeholder, all that good stuff. Uh, so we're just gonna keep it like that, right? So that's that's the input right there for us. Um, I'll put this here like that, like that. So and then we can create a a um, let's create an email and put the input there. Uh, we could put a usual break, a uh, line break, br. No, that's not gonna work. Br is a uh, yeah line break. Uh, we could use CSS to space it out and make it look nicer. But we have a name and email. Good. Now we could put things in, but now it's not a React form. Now that's the problem. So it needs to be a React form. So to do that, we have to create a state. Uh, so React everything, uh, any data that we have, we need to create a state for it. So we say const, we say input, set input, and we're gonna learn how to deal with forms later uh, in, a, in a, I think in the coming weeks, uh, use the state. And here we're just gonna say, gonna set it to uh, a an object, and this object will have a will have a and and will have a name will have a name that will be empty, and it will have a email that's empty. Okay, two empty things. So now we have that. Uh, our state is set for the form. Uh, all we need now is to, um, I don't like the way it's rendered. All we need now is to make sure we, we need a button because you can't deal with the form if you don't have a button. Uh, so let's say submit button. So how are you gonna send anything? anywhere without a button, PR. That's it, so we have the button, da, 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 submit. Now it's, it's doing the usual stuff where it refreshes this, the page. So we don't want that. That's that's the, the, the old stuff. Remember React, it doesn't render anything. So now we need to do two things. We need to handle, we need to grab the input, the information that we put in here. We need to set that information to the name. So when we put the name here, we need to we need to put it here. Uh, when we add the email, we need to put it right here. So to do that, we need to do a couple of things. We have to grab a, a function called handle change. And I don't know this at the top of my head, so I have to Google it. So it's called uh, it's a function. So we're gonna say function handle change. So this is gonna be this is gonna handle the changes. So anytime something changes here, it's gonna it's gonna grab that information and, and do something with it. It's gonna set it to state. So let's let's look for that. Handle change. People just call it handle change, but it's really not like you can call it whatever you want. <clears throat> so React forms, uh, as you can see here, basic thing that we just created. Um, so, and also the submit button, they use the input instead of the button, that's fine. 
Uh, so control components is what are we looking for? So we need to control the, the form, like the output and the input, all that stuff. So uh, this is a class. So we have to kind of figure it out ourselves. So handle change and handle submit is the two things you're looking for. So handle change takes care of every time you change a one letter in the form. And handle submit takes care of every time you submit it, every time you send it. So we just need to take, so handle change takes this state, which is this one is, is a set input for us. And then it creates a value. And then it says that value is equal to the event. So this event is whatever that happens. So every time you keystroke, every keystroke is an event that target that value. And then we have to add one thing, a value to the, our input. So, and uh, also on change, you have to add this on change. Uh, yeah, we have to add that too. So a couple of things you need to add. So usually it's best to kind of Google things around. So let's grab this. Uh, so let's put this here, change this to set, set input, right? Uh, so an event, we're missing an event here. And it says under, this underscore thing is like say you're not using it yet. So let's put a few things here. So we need to put the value and we need to put the handle change. So let's grab that too. So the value will be the state. So that would be the state. Uh, so instead of copying and pasting, let me just write it down here. So value is going to be the state. So this is going to be um, it's going to be a uh, input dot name, right? So input dot name or no, yeah, input dot name. That's our state. Let me actually see that. Let me actually put something here. ID and console like this. Input that name. So if you're not sure about something, it's best to kind of like just console lock it so that you know 100% that that's what you're looking for. Yeah. So that's what we're looking for. Uh, so that's the value. And then here we need to do something called on change. So this. When this value changes, every time we, we change something from here, any letter, this is what's gonna happen. So it's gonna call this function handle change that we created. Every time we change something, it's gonna call that function. So let's just put that function right here. Handle change. So now let's remove this. The only thing that's working is the name for now. So so now you're not gonna see anything. I mean, it's we can try something here, but the only way you could see is by console login. The console login is the input that name. I don't know why we delete it. Okay, and if we open the console log uh, and we clean it up, how do we clean it up like that? Every time we change something here, it says undefined. I don't know why it says that. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's put the console log. Let's put the console log because we're doing it before before it actually changes. So let's put it here. And um, let's put event. That's event that's happening. Okay, this is the event that's happening. I mean, I don't want all this stuff. So what we're looking for is the value. Oh, something is wrong. Okay, let's put the input here. Input the value, maybe. Yeah, yeah, so that's what, what we're looking for. So as you can see, every time we add something to it, it, it updates the, the, it updates the, what does it say value? It updates the state. So this is our state, right? So it updates that. Um, and one thing we could do is we can actually show that uh, in here in our browser. So we could just say here, 
uh, we can say here paragraph and say uh, and say input the name. And you can see in life how it's, it's changing. So I don't know what's not. Oh, when you submit it, after you submit, I guess that's what it shows. Um, it should show a in life way. Okay. Um, so we didn't do the submit yet, but uh, the main thing is is now it's it's changing the state. So let's do the same thing for that uh, for the for the email. Let's put it here. I change this to email. Handle change. So handle change can take care of both the name and the email because we're using event that target value. So that's generic. So it's checking each any value that changes. Uh, but for us to submit, we have to um, we have to create another function called handle submit. So it's this one, handle submit. Handle submit basically take takes the data and it sends to whatever that you you want. So now it's gonna send it to the state. Um, so that's what we're looking for. So as you can see here, it's alerting the state. But we need also this prevent default. So prevent default, what it does is instead of the form when we submit, it refreshes, it stops that. And remember, we learned this way in the back when we talked about JavaScript, it prevents the refresh. So every time you do this and you submit, it refreshes. We don't want that. That's not, that's not React stuff. So we want this, let's just uh, take it, steal it, put it right here. We need to change this to a function. And also we don't need, uh, we don't need this. So this is basically um, name was submitted. So it's, it's, it's kind of alerting. So we're gonna cancel log it for now. Gonna cancel log input. Uh, okay. So, and then also we have to put the handle submit in the form right here. So I have to say on submit, handle submit. So I have to put right here. I have to do that. Handle submit, hand, not handle change, handle submit. So every time we submit it, uh, it cancel locks the input for us. So if we do that and we type something, here we say submit, it, it sends that data here, but it's sending only value. Why is it doing that? I don't know that on the submit, it should send all the data. Uh, oh, okay, I think the reason is because we're not, <coughs> we, we are sending this value. Let's actually look for something a little more uh, a function based form. Uh, okay. So, events. Okay. So, we don't need the value. So, under change, we don't need the value. We can get rid of this. And also, I think we can get rid of the. No, we could keep the keep that. I don't know what that changed. Like, okay. Oh yeah, we don't need this. So now save it. Refresh that. Changing control. It's only sending the first to one. The the second one. Uh. Email email. Email and the change. Hmm. Uh, let's say email here. And if I save it, fresh. Okay, so it's working only with the first one. Uh, so we're missing one thing. 
uh, okay. So input, so for handle change is triggered. This is not even complete. Uh, I'm gonna teach you easier way to do this uh, when we reach the forms, you don't need to do all this. So there's gonna be easier way to do it, hopefully. Uh, okay. Handle submit on change so this one is doing on uh, in line basically uh an event we have to do this and um, we already did that we already did this our problem is we have a, a we have this one is a uh, is an object so if we had only one thing it would have been easier uh, we did all this. Submit value. Okay, I think this one is a little bit. No, I don't know what this is. It's interesting. This looks like a. Uh... Okay, Just a bunch of stuff. Handle submit. All right, uh, but the main thing is now it is uh, it's rendering that data, and the problem we have now is only it's not submitting. So uh, if we if we console log, let's actually go back. The way it was here. If we uh, save it, um, we console log the value here or the state I mean let's console lock the state outside uh, so delete this so it's showing that the Hamlet so showing both but now the problem is it's uh, what it's doing is it's sending it's sending uh, it's changing the value. So now it's basically not sending two things. So we need to make sure to send it two things instead of one thing. So this would be, this value would be, uh, would be name here. And then, and then we will have something like here, we'll have another uh, one. And this would be, um, this would be email. So, and then we're gonna have the same thing here. So there's, there's different ways of doing it. Uh, it's a syntax, unexpected token. Uh, uh, so, oh, Zakir, you said you have an issue with uh, uh, So if, if you have an issue with the, with the port running 3000, when you say it's uh, NBM start, try, uh, try restarting the, the app or if, if it gives you something like, oh, this is already being used, you have to say why, which stands for yes, and then enter, and then it's gonna open it another port. So, so let's refresh this. Uh, so now, so as you can see now, the name is changing on here, let's say BBB. Oh, it's changing the name too. <laughs> so we have an issue with that. Let's actually just look for, um, handle change form, uh, let's say multiple object, let's say state. Uh, so yeah, this is what we're looking for. Uh, you say handle change, even that target value. So, so when we have that, you just need to, so this one says first name, but multiple inputs, we need to uh, we need to put this in here. But oh, oh yeah, so this is what we're missing. We're missing the spreading out the state right here. So um, so this is really actually what are we actually looking for? So let's copy this part. So we don't need all this. 
Let's change it to set state to set input. And let's change this to EVT. It's easier because we have multiple ones here. And this is state to be input right here. Um, so save that, refresh it, clear it up, update. Oh, it's not, it's not actually handling that. Um, okay. It's not handling for us. Test input. I think we have something along here. Uh, target, set input, input, or oh, that name. Um, so let's see this. So it's changing one thing at a time. We don't want that. This area, no, okay. We're just looking for a way to change the, this is all the state, not only the parse one. So this is multiple inputs. Uh, first, okay. Instead of just first email, we add last name field as a second input in the field. Okay. Handle change. There are a couple of significant changes I've made in addition. Uh, so instead of all this looking for, I actually, I think I have it already figured it out somewhere. So let me just find that. Uh, I think it was this one. So let me just open it. Uh, CD build. So I'm just gonna move uh, to keep this here. All right, so when it comes to the form, oh, not the router, it's the, yeah, yeah form builder. Okay, that's what we're looking for. CD form builder. Okay. I'm just going to look at this, the handle change. Uh, okay. So this one, the handle change. I, so you have to do the same thing we just did, but, um, but you have to set, you have to put it in a variable. So that's what I was missing. So instead of all this, I'm just gonna say that. And this would be, um, we could call it whatever we want, but this would be input. And let's put this event. And this would be set, um, set input. Okay, set input. So that should work, uh, hopefully. Uh, let's see. And when we're changing it, uh, we have to say on change and call it this function here. Yeah. On change that. Yeah, we did that. And the value is gonna be that. Uh, so I don't see where the issue is coming from. Uh, use the state. Okay. So everything the same is is the way we're so we were declaring it. So let's see. Hmm. Okay, so here say the name. Uh oh, okay. So we don't have that's that's where the problems come from. We don't have we don't have a name here. We have to give the input a name. So we have to say name is equal to, this one's gonna be name, uh, it's gonna be name. And this is gonna be a, uh, this is gonna be email. And it has to be same as the state. So what do we name this state? Name and email. So hopefully this will work. So as you can see, it's working. And it's shown here because we, declared here. Uh, so if we actually input here the email, 
That should also work. Uh, the email. Yeah, so forms are not the easiest, but also once you understand the handle change, the handle submit, everything will be will be fine. Um, so now we put here Mohammed, as you can see it's shown here. I put here Mohammed at Gmail. You could do that. So you could render it like that, or you could send it, you could send it to another state. So uh, you could uh, grab it and send it when you submit it. You could uh, create a function that adds the this the state to another to another state. So that's also how you render it. So we can do that if you guys want. Um, but I think it's a much time for us. Um, yeah. Any question? We can take a break. Inshallah. Any questions so far? In the, in the downs, do you have to put the, the name? Uh, Where? The return all the way down. Uh, right here? Uh, where it says uh, the, the value. Oh, the value. So, okay. So, I missed your value. So, the value is going to be the state. So, this is the state. So, we're grabbing the state. And it's same to the it's same as the value. So, what are we changing here is the value. And every time we change, the handle change is going to take care of that. So it's going to take whatever we change from here. When we change any letter, it's going to take that. And it's going to grab our state, our current state. And then it's going to say, okay, whatever the name of that input is. So this input is a name. Then uh, it's equal to the value of you put in here. And then it's gonna take all that information and then it's gonna send it to uh, here. Uh, this update member should, uh, yeah, this update member is our, is all the data that comes from here, which is just what we wrote here, right? And then it sets to the state right here, right? So all this is stuff, even the target that name is each input. So each input has a different name. So this one is an email, this one is a name, just like the state. And then it takes event that target that value is whatever we put in here. So you could actually just cancel log that itself uh, somewhere, but that's what it's basically trying to target. So let's actually try to cancel log that event that target that value. And you'll see that it's gonna name it event. And if we, um, we make this, let's just act it up. Okay, clear it up. So whatever we put here, that's gonna be the event. So that's gonna be anything that we type here, event that target that value. It's targeting this value, basically. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, forms are not the easiest, but uh, all you need to understand is handle change needs to work and then handle submit needs to work. And then after that, if you want to add it to another state, you put it inside here. So we're going to put another function in here. We're going to grab another function. And then after that, we're going to add it to another state. So whatever information that comes from this state, this state, it's going to go to that state. And that's how you submit a form, basically. So let's take a break and then inshallah we'll talk about how to do that handle submit and then add that to another state that we're going to create here. Uh, and we're going to try to make it quick inshallah. All right. All right. Let me, let's take about 10 minute break and then come back.
Okay. Hi, it's like Professor Kusalek in over. I think I got the mother in Malaha. We'll finish it up, inshallah, quick. Um, so let's see the handle submit. Okay. So handle submit is easy, but uh, we also need to submit the data to another uh, another state. So um, so let's just create a quick another state right here. Um, render, maybe add one thing and then render that. So let's say const, uh, let's say something like, um, okay, what are we looking for? Uh, say students, say students. So we're trying to, like a number of students trying to render that. So let's import it. And here we're just gonna give it a, an, an object. We have to give the same information, name. And let's add a couple of them here, maybe two of them. Let's call the first one, uh, Farah. We'll give him email. Uh, let's give it Farah, Farah at Gmail. Okay. Uh, let's add another one here. So if we want to add, we have to put uh, in in an array. We have to put them in an array so that we can have multiple objects here. So just like that. Just like that. So we have one here. And also the array put it here. Uh, let's have another object here. So we're going to give it another name. Uh, let's call it something like Ahmed. This would be Ahmed. So we need to render this. And then we also need to use this form to add more to this. So, uh, and also to do that, we need to create a function that adds things to this. Uh, we need to create that function here. Um, what else? So we need to create that function and then pass that function here uh, as a prop. Then when we do submit, uh, which is basically taking all the information that we put in here and we submit it, we need to send it to that function. So it adds it to this state, right? So let's call that function something like, uh, what do we call, uh, add student. So let's, let's just create a function here. Call it add a student. Uh, so this function, what we could do is we could, um, we could, we need to pass some information here because we're passing the information through, through here. So all the information we pass, we need to give it a name. So let's call it something like new student, right? And within here, we have to do, we have to just take uh, we have to set it to set students this information so so it'll be set students now so when we say set students we need to set it to the new students but before we do that we need to grab the current state so the current state would be all these students so to do that we're just going to put a an object uh, a array here and then we're just going to say dash dash students this is called a spread operator, and we used it a little bit ago, right here. Spread operator is basically just make a copy of the state. That's basically what it's saying. So a spread operator is three dots and then the state name, and that's basically making a copy of the state. That's all it's doing. And then we're gonna put the new new students, which are the uh, information that we pass from here. So when we say handle submit. Whatever we say handle submit, which is the, these two information, then that's going to be the new student. So we say new student here. Um, so that's going to be our function. Uh, we don't need anything else from here. So let's pass that function through the this component and then uh, use that to submit it. So let's call this. Um, let's just call it add student itself and then pass add student here. 
and we could say add a student test because we might be adding more students, but we add in one student at a time. But before we do all that, we have to also render the students here. So let's render that. Um, so it's gonna be, we're gonna render this state. Um, so let's uh, just say, let's give it a header name, H2, student info, or let's say student list, H2. Uh, all we need to do here is we need a P paragraph and then render the state here. Um, since we have multiple, we need to loop through it, right? We have multiple things here. So we need to loop through that. And also you can create another component for this and send it all this stuff there and then render it that way. But since we don't have a lot of time, we're just gonna do it the, the quick dirty way. Uh, so we're gonna say uh, student dot map function student here because it's each student, uh, and here we're gonna return the all the information. So we're just gonna render two things. So we're just gonna say p and the render name first, and here we're gonna say student that name uh, and then after that we're gonna render uh, we're gonna render the email so I mean if we render two things we might as well just do this so do that and then do that hmm, it's giving us an issue here quick issue okay uh so i had issue with this before actually so i can check uh i think i did that in the when i was doing the the router that router thing so let me see uh so if you want to render multiple things from a map you actually don't have to give the, yeah, you don't have to give the return, um, but you have to do it like this. Um, you have to, you cannot use this here. So uh, I think you have to do a anonymous function, not anonymous function. Yeah, so let's actually do this. Let's just change it quickly this and say student, uh, and then this is going to be a, uh, a add of function. So we're going to do that instead of return here. Okay. And also we don't need this curly bracket. Uh, oh, we need it. We need it. We need another curly bracket. We need another another one like that. Uh, what I'll be missing here. JSX sometimes is confusing. Um, so we have that curly bracket, we have that, and we have that. What else are we missing? Uh, return. Oh, okay. I think we missed. Yeah, this is the problem. We don't need that paragraph. Oh, so you can see, as you can see, it's already rendering. Um, so we have the email and let's make the email something like uh, H4, I mean the name H4, so that it's a little bit bolder and then put the email right underneath it. Um, email and make it student that email. Okay, that's going to be P. Ah, I'm missing something. Uh, for P student dot email. What are we missing? Email student the email. Did I spell this? 
Uh, okay, maybe we have to say come here. No, yeah. No, we don't need a comma there. Uh, what is wrong with this? Is it students or student? Just a student because we're we do we are rendering each one at a time. So the student is the state. Uh, this this is state right here, and then we map in over it, and then we do an arrow function, and then just render one student at a time. Uh, but when I put a comma here, it works. But when I don't, it doesn't work. That's confusing. Um, uh, shouldn't should work normally. Um, okay. Uh, let me remove this email. That's fine. That's interesting. So I'll put a comma here. It works fine, but this comma is unexpected user comma operator. Uh, okay. Oh, it's not showing the name. Okay. Uh, Okay, so what I need to do is here, maybe I just need to put, uh, give me a second, let me see what where this issue is coming from. Um, oh yeah, I think we have to give it a general div here, right? Because remember JSX, every time we return something, and this is basically returning, we cannot do two things at the same time. I mean, we cannot, we cannot have two elements that are rendering within a return. This is a return because it's an arrow function and the return is kind of omitted. So now it's working. Uh, let's put like a line between these two. Um, HR, uh, HR, I think it's like that, yeah. So we put a line between the form and this, and every time we submit, it should add a person here. Okay, that's the goal. So let's go back to form and just set, change the, the handle submit to, uh, so we're gonna change it, we're gonna add it to something. So let's add, let's add that function that we passed. And we also have to say here props. So to do that, we need to basically, um, we need to do, uh, we need to put the pre uh, event that prevent default. And then, and then after that, we need to pass the, the function here. So we have to say, we have to say props that, what was it? Props that um, add student, props that add student, there's a function. So that function is gonna run uh, and we need to uh, we need to change. Okay. So we need to run the, we need to run this, uh, this operation set input uh, right here. So let's, let's do that too. Set input. Uh, and the reason we're running this is because we want to, um, this is the data we're sending the we're sending the on, on uh, this function, and also this function accepts mem uh, not members it accepts input here. It accepts the state, and I don't think we need to do this. So hopefully that should work. Uh, and we don't need this part. Hopefully that should work. So here we're just gonna say. Fabumo, Fabumo at yahoo.com. Right there. Okay. So hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys understood what I what I'm doing here. Um, we're using handle submit to send the data to the uh, to the, the another state. So we're sending it to this function, which is a prop that's coming from here. This function. So when this function receives the information, it takes that information, which is the new student, and then it puts it in this state. So it puts it right in here. So every time we submit it, every time we submit this function, and remember that the form has handle submit right here, and this is the function right here. So 
uh, and the data is handled by handle change. So every time we change something, it, it changes the, the state here, the form state. Um, so that's generally what are you guys going to do in your in your assignment. Uh, but uh, you're gonna, it's going to be different. So you're going to be adding something else and designing it and making it a little bit better. Um, so, and also you could make this one uh, clear up every time it uh, submits. In our, when we learn informants and all that, I'm going to teach you a better way of doing this. This is like a tedious way of doing it. There's easier way. You could use another, something called Formic. And um, that's going to handle almost everything that you need to know. You need to do in forms. And Formic is one of the best uh, form system in React. So you don't have to do all this handle change, all that stuff. All you have to do is just hook uh, Formic to your uh, component. And then it, you tell it where, where to send the data. And it just sends there. So it just makes it, the life much easier. Any questions? Let me let me share this before I before we end this. So the most important is, is the the handle submit and the the handle change. Yeah, handle change yeah, really, takes yeah. care of every time you change something here, and then the handle submit takes care every time you submit it. So if we submit now, it just sends to here, and the handle submit is mm -hmm. calling a function, and that function where, runs. Where does the what is that? The add student came from the add student. Remember, we, we created that. a function here in the app.js and we called it mm -hmm. add student. Okay. So we're, we're passing this function right here. You could pass a function as a prop too. So keep that in mind. So we're passing that function right here. Okay. We're sending it to the form, which is the, the component that we're handling all this. And then we're using props. We're using props right here to bring the, that function. And then that function accepts, see, this function, it has a parameter, it has this parameter uh, and it's accept, it, it's looking for something, something called new student. Uh, and we're giving it right here. It's the input, it's the state for the form. We're giving it right there. Let's look at the input, which is we already stated in. Yeah, in we already, yeah. it already is a state here. And this input is uh, the information we put here. Uh, and then when we say submit, this function runs. And the job for this function is to take that data and add it to this state, which is right here. And that's what we're kind of rendering here, right here. So you can see, this is how we're rendering it. Right? And you oh. said that they had in, this, in order to make it uh, the email on the student, you had, you had to use the div, otherwise they would think. Yeah, so uh, because we returned here and uh, this is a, a, a uh, out of function. So it's assuming this, is, this whole thing is a return. So see us here, we're using return and you have to have a, a parent div or a parent element for all of this. You cannot have, multiple elements are in the same uh, level uh, when you say return. That's just JSX stuff. It's nothing to do with like JavaScript. So uh, that's why we, we're using this div when you're returning two things. So, so in your assignment, all you guys doing is just taking this and modifying it and add, you know, just grabbing things from it and then changing it to like members and, and adding things to it and adding one more value here maybe uh instead of just email add one more thing and then also when you're doing the form submit add one more input add one more thing here uh and then submit it like that so and then make this a little bit better give it like a, some type of a css uh maybe give it like a boxes or something like that create a box using the reactor strap we learned uh and then the form make it nicer spread it out uh, and give it a little bit of uh, look for like a form CSS and stuff and then make it nicer. Uh, and also what you could do is you could create a different pages. So uh, you could create a form page and a submit page, uh, a form page and a content page. And then when you go to the form, you could add, and then when you come back to the uh, content page, it has the list of the members. 
So you could do so many ways. And this is, you know, that assignment is, is pretty open-ended. So you could do so many things uh, and, and render it in a different ways. So it's giving you that freedom. So I'll share. Um, and, uh, so like, uh, what have you been doing right now? The form in a real world uh, example is just like, uh, like if you go to the Gary school, where it's yeah. just like apply that same form. It's similar, like but in Gibby School, for example, we're using like Formic. I'm using Formic. So if I show you. Same idea. Wanna... What is that? It's the same idea, right? It's the same, same idea, yeah. Same idea. Just a different uh, um, kind of a different uh, implementation. So if we go to here, school, um, and we go here, and we go to source. As you can see, we have so many things here. If you go to components, you see there's a login form, there's a register. So if we go to the login, we have the login CSS and we have the login JavaScript. And if we click that, there is a lot of stuff here going on. But uh, at the top here is, this is the form basically, the HTML part of the form. And at the bottom here is the formic. So we're using formic. And this is the kind of like all the way of doing it. You don't have to do all oh, this is stuff. This is a, there. Uh, in case there's like hacking or something like that, it takes care of all this stuff. But as you can see here, handle submit is right here. And it gives you information that you need to, um, you need to send it the value, all that stuff. So this is a little more complicated way of handling it. Uh, let's see, let's go to layout, not the layout. Let's go to components. Um, I don't know where the other components went. Uh, let's go to actions. Uh, actions. So you have the actions here. So this is Redux, but you don't, um, you're not going to do Redux now. Let's go to pages, uh, components, pages, class. Okay. Oh, yeah. So all of them are in pages. So there is a section called pages. So here are different components that I have. As you can see, there's way too many components. Let's go to students. As you can see, a student has like three components. One to add a student, one to add a student, another one to show the students. So if we go to add a student, as you can see, I'm using something called, I'm using React Stripe, as you can see here. So this is not what, what in Baraya is not like a khayale. This is like a real world things that you could implement in your own application. Uh, and then I'm using Formic. As you can see here, I'm importing Formic. Uh, and then Formic gives you all these uh, things values is all the values that you submit in the form so whenever you submit the form the, uh, the values is what you get back instead of doing handle change all that stuff you have values and every time you want to uh, put these values in the state you just grab it and put it in the state of uh, values so you don't have to worry about handles handle submit handle change you put the handle change this in inside the form right here but other than that, you don't need to do the function that I was doing. You just have to change all that stuff. Um, this is the same strategy, right? Same strategy, but most of the stuff are kind of like uh, already done for you. So the handle change, the handle okay. submit functions, you don't see them here. It's done by Formic. So it's in the background, basically. You don't have to worry about it. And there's also okay. something called the Yup, which is a like authentication stuff. You don't have to worry about right now. Uh, but as you can see here, I'm using uh, use effect. I'm using API, the same thing we're using. I'm using Axios. This is called Axios with auth. This is for like uh, authentication. This is a custom Axios basically I created um, somewhere else. So, but it's Axios. Um, it's doing the same thing. Um, I'm using two use effect as you can see here. Uh, and then that's how I'm handling. And then there's more stuff here. Um, this is more of like authentication. Uh, you could just skip it if you want, uh, all that stuff. But yeah, I mean, uh, here's the rendering. So uh, use effect, I'm using use effect. Uh, imagine this is a uh, an API call, but I'm using something called Redux, which is uh, um, a way to manage the state instead of like using props. So. Using, I'm still using props, but this props is from 
uh, is from the form, not the, it's not from like the, another component, like the parent component. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> so all this stuff is something I built when I learned React. Uh, you guys, this is what you could build. Uh, it took me about like uh, maybe like a month, uh, less than a month to build all this. Uh, hopefully I can show you how it looks. I'm not sure if my back end is working. I'm having an issue with the, like the back end. There was a, there was actually, it was in here. I'll show it here. It wasn't ready in the back end. I'm having a little bit of issue with the back end. Uh, so if I view the project, this is how the login looks like. Hopefully it works. If not, I'm having an issue with uh, Heroku. Heroku. Uh, I have to log in and see what the issue is coming from. Um, but yeah. Heroku is like a, it's like a, like a database basically, or server. I don't know what this is. Uh, later. Yeah. Any any other questions so far? Uh, let's see what this. What's wrong with this? Let's succeed. Uh, does it need to be rendered again or something like that? I'm not sure. Log. Yeah, it had an issue. It crashed. Uh, maybe I need to restart it. But yeah. Um, any anything you guys are confused about, and I shared the link, so I think you guys can can check that and then copy it and and try to mimic that, inshallah. Uh, Malin, hmm. like, um, lately you do the um the lecture on uh, this code, so yeah. uh, you share you share a couple of codes uh in the GitHub. Yep. So. In case if I'm gonna look at it, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look. Uh, go there and and look at the resources. So I shared a couple of things here, uh, like for example, uh, React Router thing. I think I shared this too. Yeah. So React Router. It was. Uh, I I did it in my computer and then I submitted it here. So if you wanna if you wanna check how this looks like, you just you don't have to do fork or anything. You just want to see how it looks. You just say you copy it and clone it, and then do the npm uh, install, npm install, right? You don't have to uh, you don't have to fork it because it's not something you don't want to change anything from it. Like you're not this is not what you're submitting. So all you have to do is just copy this and and then and then do that, uh, just like okay. anybody else. Good job. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So so let's say one of one of the people I'm following. I want to like see what they're working on. Uh, let's say uh, like one of these guys, like Henry is like one of the genius people that I know. Um, so he uh, he's the one who actually helped me go through the whole uh, Lambda school. Uh, he, um, he <laughs> there's a whole story. Uh, like he was like the hero of everyone. Uh, this guy, he went through the bootcamp, the Lambda school bootcamp, and then he started his own channel, like the like Slack channels, where he goes through the assignments, and uh, and he recorded it and he put it on YouTube. So when we miss, like when you do the assignment, the next day he goes through it and he explains it in like the perfect way. So people used to like him a lot. So let's say like this React timer thing, uh, it's something that he created. I guess I don't have to fork it. I can just copy this. Um, I just go here, go to different uh, folder. Let's not go to Gibby School. I don't want to miss. I don't want to mess up stuff. So let's go to example. This is what I put like like things I don't care. Uh, let's say Git clone. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see my comments, but I'm sure you guys are good with commands now. I have new students uh, the last few days that are learning the terminal, so they're struggling with it. Uh, so now I did that. I'm just going to say, so I usually look at the name of it and then I say react like that. And then, and then I, I just, you could open it with uh, react uh, VS code. 
and then just look through it and say, okay, there's an app, JS and all that. Uh, it doesn't seem like it has anything, it has used to state here, but it's not really rendering anything here. Um, <laughs> so that's interesting. You could, it's, it's just a UI, this is not a state or anything. So here I'll say NBM install, uh, and then it's gonna install all the things I need, um, and then NBM start. That's it. So, and then you can see what the person did and all that stuff. Uh, yeah, I think he just started and then it was, it was cut off. It. <clears throat> uh, anything else? Is this better? Let me see. To do app. Uh, this is a little bit better. He created the create initial to do list and created a, um, what is this variable? Some filter. He's grabbing something called class, class, class names. Uh, and then he's rendering stuff. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, one is a Spring project. Uh, the Spring project is gonna be, um, so today is Wednesday. Um, let me just look at the calendar. So today's Wednesday, uh, I'm thinking of making it, um, I'm, I'm thinking of giving you guys tomorrow to work on all the assignments and then making the spring project uh, the spring project on Friday. So that's the plan, inshallah. So tech, uh, tech to tomorrow to work on all the assignments, whatever you can, submit anything you have. And then, and then on Friday, we're gonna do the spring project, inshallah. Uh, yeah. Any other question? All right. Okay. You have the example, all that stuff. You have example for the other assignments. Uh, you guys have all the things you need to kind of like play around and compare. Try your best to finish this, uh, these assignments tomorrow um, to submit everything you can. Otherwise, it's just going to slow things down and, you know, uh, put the time in. And inshallah, you're going to benefit a lot from it. So uh, take care, inshallah. We'll stop here. Thank you, Mark.